Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing the Panasonic DMC FZ150K. This will be the um, first opening of this uh, box. Uh, just got it from OnTrack. Uh, that's the uh, one of the distributors for Amazon. We're going to open up the box here real quick. See what we got inside. Packed with um, those big bubble wrap thingamajigs. Got your receipt. And got the camera in there. Actually, they didn't pack it that great. They just put um, the uh, big bubble on the, on the top of the camera, and there's no packing underneath. So, a um, little less than desirable, shall we say. Um, I'll put this box off to the side momentarily. And you can see what we got here Panasonic. FC-150 in black. Um, Alright, let's open this camera up. By the way, I have two, um, two cameras rolling today while I'm filming this. So uh, there's, an, there's, an, there's a second video on this if you'd like to take a look at it at some point in time, okay? Uh, just look for the link on, um, on the YouTube there that I'm providing. Alright, opening it up. Here's what you initially see. Uh, I'm going to read the box contents for you, see what it says. Box contents, contents, digital camera unit, battery pack, battery charger, lens cap, lens cap string, lens hood, shoulder strap, USB connection cable, CD-ROM, and an owner's manual. All right, so let's see what we got here first. I'll bring out some of the little small parts. Now, all the individual small parts that are on this side of the box, and I'll show them to you as I get, after I get them all out. What do you say? All right, it's not going to let me go any further. So, there's another couple of little small parts in there. It looks like a yeah, that's a strap. It looks like that's a USB cable. All right, let me run through those real quick with you. Um, Looks like we got a nice um, lens hood, glare, glare shield. Uh, looks like we got the battery charger here. Uh, got the instructions for safety instructions, so we'll just put that right back like that momentarily. The um, the um, Works in that manner right there. Okay, and then the battery just slips in on top of um, top of there. Okay, so that's the battery charger. Here's the battery. Not a real large battery. So that's good. Of course, the camera's not that large either, so. Anyway, um, 7.2 volts, 850, excuse me, 895 milli milliamp hours, 6.5 watt hours lithium ion. Okay, so it's a Panasonic battery to go in that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it into the Slide it into the unit there. Looks like it pops in like that. Hope you saw that. And comes out, so you put the corner in. There's where the um, note uh, connectors are, so just put it in, pop it down, okay? And then, of course, uh, pop that out, plug it into your wall outlet. I'll do that for the other camera down and plug it in. Okay, so review the uh, shield and the battery charger and the battery. And we got a lens cap here. Got a lens cap 
and the lens cap does have the lens cap string on it. I'm not going to do that on the video here. We'll let you guys figure that one out. Uh, but the lens cap um, has um, has squeezed things on it so that you can squeeze it to get off get it off the camera. And um, they're quite firm, so. I don't think it's going to slip off the camera very easily. Uh, I've had a, quite a few Canons, and they tended to, um, tended for me, tended to slip off the camera somewhat. So, anyway, nice lens cap. Let's take a look at it. Then the squeeze. There you go. USB USB cable cord. Uh, that's a that's a I think they call it a micro. It's the smaller than the normal mini USB cable plug on the end of this. I'll let you take a look at it in relation to the uh, normal USB cable, so um, you get an idea of how big it is. Uh, there we go. Anyway, it's. It's the small one, the really small one. Okay, and then the uh, camera strap itself. See how much detail Panasonic put into this. Okay, got a nice Lumix Lumix logo on on the strap itself, and now we got most of the small items taken care of. Here, let me clean up my mess now. Real quick, get all the stuff out of the way. Okay. Now for the camera itself. All right. Camera is in there. I've spotted it. And... Looks like I'll have to grab it by the... By the covering a lens to get it out. Nicely wrapped in a plastic sheathing there. And there's the camera. I'm going to go ahead and see what's in the box remaining, if there's any small items I miss. Uh, in the box there's, there's the basic owner's manual. Let me look at it real quick and get it open. What we got here? There we go. Okay. Warranty registration. Need to do that within 10 days. Um, installation disc, CD ROM instructions. And then on one side, we've got your Spanish instructions and then on the other side we've got your basic owner's manual for the Panasonic DMC FZ150 and uh, I'm sure you can look this up online but there is 43 44 pages worth of basic manual included with this camera uh, there's looks like Panasonic's, oh, the owner's manual. They do provide you the owner's manual on DVD, or CD-ROM, rather. It looks like they provide the, that. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. It's probably the full owner's manual instead of the basic manual. And then, um, who knows what you're going to get on on one of these photo, photo Fun Studio 6.5 BD edition. Uh, I've never used the Panasonic software before, so I'm not quite sure what I'm getting there and not quite sure what version that is, uh, if that's good or bad, but um, anyway, that's what, what you get in the package. I'm sure you can go online and update that as necessary. All right, uh, once again, do just a little bit of cleanup so I can keep working here. And move some of this to the side. Now we'll 
let you see the camera. One thing I'm going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to take some um, high-res photographs and I'm going to uh, put them on put them online and um, on the, on the YouTube video itself. So you can uh, take a look at the uh, camera itself. Uh, like I said, they'll be fairly high-res photographs uh, and everything will be in high definition HD video so you'll be able to see pretty good what's on the camera in terms of buttons and those sorts of things so when you take a look at that just uh, enjoy it and I'll play a little, little of a friend of mine's music along with it um, okay so there's a tag here and a full HD 1920 by 1080 60p 12 frames per second burst shooting a little tag stuck to the camera probably something for uh, retail purposes and then another little tag high sensitivity MOS 12.1 megapixel uh, max ISO 3200 and then Lumax Pro Touch excitement free angle 3 inch or 7.5 centimeter LCD okay and uh, let's see if we can get this off real quick um, not gonna need that uh, oh, there's more writing on the other side. Uh, high quality lens. Leica optical technology f2.8. And then 24x optical zoom. Nano surface coating. Premium lens. Intelligent 32x zoom. And a 25 millimeter wide angle. Okay, some of the marking the material. There we go. All right, now let's take a look at the camera itself. On the top of the camera, you'll see, so I can get some good lighting here. You'll see there's two mics on top of the camera, a mount for a flash or an external mic as I'm aware of and then um, then we've got uh, whole camera setup I don't have the battery charged at the moment so so I'm gonna let you take a little look at the camera itself just rotate around here and uh, so get a little closer hopefully the camera will stay in zoom that I'm filming with stay in focus rather and let you take a look Okay, and then uh, I'm interested in, okay, I'm normally accustomed to there being a, on the um, LCD, the little catch right there, but the catch is actually on the top, so I'll have to get used to, accustomed to that. And the LCD, nice and solid, feels nice and solid, stops right there. And back in, and nice little click when it goes back to shut and I don't see how to open the um, the flash I assume it's probably automatic anyway alright and we have our battery cover there spring loaded so it autom automatically opens up looking down inside the cavity there there is a little spring down at the bottom that will um, obviously push push your uh, rechargeable battery out when um, Put it in. I'll give it a shot here and see how it goes. Drop it in. Clicks in. Got your little latch here. There we go. Pops it right back out for you. There we go. Pull your battery in and out. Okay. And your SD chip is right there. The slot for the SD chip. So that's going to be problematic for you folks who uh, use tripods so you're going to, in order to get it swap out chips you're going to have to pull this um, camera off the tripod to do that which is really unfortunate uh, okay we'll uh, open up one of the side panels here we have a HDMI and a 
so small I can't read it. Uh, and it's upside down. Audio, vidu audio video out digital. Okay, so it looks like a combo plug of some sort. And then this little plug, we've got a mic. It says mic and then remote. Okay, let me show you both of these. Okay, and then the mic remote is there. Let that camera see it. Filming on two cameras. Okay, found the flash open. There's the flash open. The flash opens right, right there on the camera. There's the button right there. And let's take a look what's underneath there. All right, we'll close that back down. I'll shut the, those two covers up. And we'll go over here and let's see, that's not a cover. Is that? Looks like it might be a cover of some sort, but it's not. Okay. The um, battery cover, you do have to uh, slide, the, slide the latch. You have to manually slide the latch. It's not, uh, doesn't automatically catch for you. Uh, tripod mount. And let's see, anything else? Okay. The, um, the viewfinder has a um, focus on it. And over here on the side of the lens, we have, um, have a couple buttons. I don't actually know what they are, but I'm going to let you. Uh, See them there. A T and a W. And then we have automatic focus. Fo automatic focus on um, looks like a macro mode, and then a manual focus uh, on this uh, on the switch right here. Okay. So there's a three position switch for focus. And then I think this is uh, actually I think this is for zoom purposes. Uh, so you can. You can do a zoom yourself, so, and then probably this is a reset the focus uh, button underneath there. Uh, so, a lot of, lot of focusing capability on this camera right here. Uh, sorry, I don't know Panasonic cameras a little better. Mainly a uh, Canon person, but uh, this Panasonic looked like a uh, good, good camera. Uh, on the top here, we've got our mode switches. You'll be able to look those up online. Uh, nice and solid. There's no, there's no button you got to press in order to turn it. So it is possible that perhaps you could glance up against it and twist it um, without realizing you've done it. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty solid, so it's going to be a little bit hard to do anyway. But it's not so solid that you can't do it with one uh, one hand fairly easily. Uh, if it were on a tripod or whatnot, and you were turning it, you would not have to grab the body of the camera. And then we got. A, manual on off switch and then um, we got our um, rapid shoot button there on the top and then we got our movie movie mode button and then our focus excuse me zoom back and forth and of course the shutter button so um, fairly complete on the top there and in terms of the feel of the camera I I like it. Uh, camera's not extremely large. Uh, not extremely small either. Okay, and now on the back of the camera, I've already noted the uh, flash open button and the the uh, focus on the um, viewfinder, and we have a electronic viewfinder LCD switch to switch back and forth between the two and then we have a um, AF slash AE lock button so I'll let you see that to see if you can actually see it okay like I said I will be uh, providing providing uh, more video on this later on okay so anyway there's those buttons And then um, 
display on off a play a play button so display on and off play button and then basically your um, your wheel here now this is not a wheel this is just a select and the items that are on there appear to be a uh, timer a function button a ISO button and I can't tell what the third excuse me the fourth one is and then you have a menu slash set button and then um, down at the bottom we have a Q menu and a little garbage can so throw away what you got there in terms of a picture most likely there's nothing underneath the cover and anyway so that's um, that's what you get in the package for the uh, Panasonic um, DMC FC 150 and hope you enjoyed uh, me opening it up for you and letting you take a look um, I'll post some pictures and some videos from it um, later on and like I said um, I'll post some um, some photographs high quality photographs of the camera itself at the end of this video and um, take a look at them and um, I may um, drop a link to maybe a, a Shutterfly uh, account where the actual high-res photographs are at if you'd uh, like to take a look at those as well so uh, anyway have a good day and uh, thank you for your time and then I thought I'd give you a uh, look at the comparable sizes of these cameras at the um, top of the um, video here we have um, a Canon EOS 60D then we have the Panasonic DMC FZ150 and then we have a Canon S3 and I'm gonna rotate around here now I've rotated around giving you a um, feel for the relative sizes of these cameras I'm going to rotate over the top of the 60D. Now that has a um, 300 millimeter lens on it right now, so it's not 100% representative of uh, from the the depth of the camera. That's the FC 150, and then we have the Canon S3. So um, once again, you get a get an idea how large these these cameras are relative to each other um, so anyway this video is going to give you a idea of um, relative size of the cameras on the back side of the cameras once again we started with the EOS 60D the FZ150 and now the Canon S3 now, back off a little bit give you a uh, comparable size there so you get an idea of what you're working with what you're potentially going to buy All right, we're recording uh, from the shadows. We're going to be from a shadowed area out. Got an orange tree here. I'll zoom in on an orange in the shadows. Looks like we're losing it. Getting the uh, leaves in front of the. Uh, But it's, pick, it's doing a pretty good job of uh, refocusing. There's a lot of material on this orange tree to focus on. Okay, now we're going to go out a little bit further. And um, that gives you an idea. We're about 25 feet on this tree that we're looking at here. I'll zoom out so you can see it. Okay, once again, that's about 25 feet. 
Now we'll move across the street and we'll look at the uh, orange tree on this house that's across the street. Okay. Then we'll quickly move over to this rock that's across the street. I'm going to quickly move back to the orange tree that I was looking at previously. And it still hasn't autofocused. Trying, trying. Still having a hard time with it. Okay. press the focus button here see if that helps any. Having trouble actually finding the orange right at the moment. Zoom out a little bit. There's the orange. Now if I actually zoom in on the orange. Okay, wow, that really, the manual zoom really did the trick but it's auto it's auto didn't do such a great job all right anyway there you go